Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I'm Nikita and today we are going to talk about multiple sclerosis. To be more specific, we are going to talk about the symptoms and the diagnosis of the disease. But before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to my channel. It truly really means a lot to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. Multiple sclerosis can cause a wide range of symptoms. Now, these symptoms are different in different individuals. Basically, the disease affects every part of the body. In some people, symptoms develop and worsen steadily over time, like progression of the disease, while for others, they come, they go, they come and they go, okay? Periods when symptoms get worse are known as relapses. And periods when symptoms improve and disappear are known as remissions. So basically, multiple sclerosis have symptoms in phases. The first phase would be relapse and then again remission. Again, the symptoms will come, get worse, relapse and then the cycle goes on and on. Now, I have mentioned a few of the symptoms here. The first one is fatigue. Now, this is the most common symptom of all these symptoms. Even to do a basic task, like moving an object or moving from one place to another causes tiredness, okay? Vision problems like color blindness or temporary loss of vision or, you know, eye pain when you are actually moving the eye, etc. Numbness and tingling in either hands or the feet. Muscle spasms. Pain. Now, pain can be either neuropathic pain or else it can be muscular skeletal pain. Mobility problems. Like when you are moving from one place to another, there can be problems like ataxia, which is lack of balance and coordination or tremors. Tremors is like, uh, you know, shakiness of the limbs, etc. Problems with thinking, learning and planning. Basically, you cannot think properly or rationally or logically. Depression and anxiety. Sexual problems. Bladder problems like, uh, you know, it might be difficulty emptying the bladder or there can be frequent urination or there can be urge incontinence etc. Bowel problems like constipation etc. And the last one is speech and swallowing problems. Their speech is slurred and it is very difficult to understand what they are talking which is known as dysarthria and they have chewing and swallowing problems which is known as dysphagia. Okay, so these were the symptoms of the multiple sclerosis. Now we are going to talk about the diagnosis of the disease. Okay, now let's talk about the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. So, diagnosing multiple sclerosis is very complicated and difficult because there is no one particular test which can positively confirm and diagnose the disease. There are basically combination of examinations and tests which needs to be done to diagnose multiple sclerosis. The very basic one is neurological examination. A neurologist will look for certain changes or abnormalities in a patient. So, he will look for abnormalities like changes or weakness in vision, eye movements, hands, leg, strength, balance and coordination, speech and reflexes etc. Now these factors may you know show that there is any damage with the nerves which can predict multiple sclerosis okay. MRI scan this is the most efficient test which can detect multiple sclerosis. It is a painless scan in which strong magnetic fields and radio waves are used to produce detailed images of what's inside your body. Okay, so basically it can show if there is any damage or scarring of the myelin sheath in the brain and the spinal cord. In case you don't know what that is, you can check my previous video. It's there in the card. And there is also lumbar puncture. Now this is like sampling the spinal fluid. You take out the body's spinal fluid and you test it. What is spinal fluid? A fluid which surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. Okay. Any changes in that particular fluid can suggest problems with the nervous system. So what do you look for in the fluid? 
the sample or the fluid is tested for immune cells and antibodies and that's how you can diagnose multiple sclerosis that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching bye bye